morning to everybody, and thank you for tuning into our bulletin this sunny winter's Sunday morning, the 28th of July, 2024. You're listening to the club station of the Phantom Amateur Radio Club, known as Z6 FTN, and your news reader this morning is Mike Bath, Z6 X-Ray Yankee Zulu. This bulletin is broadcast every Sunday at 0845 on the following frequencies. 145 decimal 700 megahertz FM in the two meter band, that is via the Stanton Amateur Radio Cubs repeater. And a 7115 kilohertz lower sideband in the 40 meter band. And finally on our Echolink, uh, which uh, the, the 700 repeater has a, a node on 901594. Let me now move on to reading some of the regular features, starting with the highlights from the SARL bulletin. In the SARL main news, they begin the bulletin with a silent key. It is with deep regret that we must announce that the key of Sam McCleary, ZS1OR, went silent this week. We extend our sincere condolences, condolences to his wife Zay, family and friends. We continue the bulletin. First item, the SARL HF phone contest on the 4th of August. The first contest in the SARL's premier contest series, the SARL HF phone contest, is on the air from 1400 to 1700 UTC on Sunday the 4th of August with activity on 20, 40 and 80 meters. You can take part as a single operator, single radio, a single sideband, or single operator, single radio, all band. A multi-operator, single band, or multi-operator, all band station. The exchange will be RS report and consecutive serial number starting at 001. Each QSO will count as one point and you score two points for each area on each band. There are nine call areas. You'll score two points for each station contacted on all three bands and you can submit the log on the 9th of August. All the information is on page 22, 22 of the 2024 contest manual. The next item is just to let you know that the August issue of Radio ZS will be available from Tuesday the 30th of July on the SARL website. So if you have an article for this issue, you must send it to uh, Radio ZS at sarl.org.za by Monday the 29th of July. In this particular issue, we look at the SARL's premier contest, Developing Amateur Services, in the 23 centimeter band and a multi-band N-fed antenna. Chris, ZS6GM, tells us how to neutralize valve or tube power amplifiers. We visit Acer for Pins Lighthouse. We look at Homebrew Morse code and we visit the radio amateurs of the Southern Cape. In a museum piece, we look at John R. Carson and the painting of single side bands. Then the next item, and just another event, which is uh, the 27th, International Lighthouse and Lightship Weekend takes place on the weekend of the 17th and 18th of August. At present, there are 13 lighthouses in the ZS1 area and one lighthouse in the ZS5 cord area registered. The next item is um, some contest news. The long weekend of the 11th, uh, 9th to 11th of August will be busy. On Friday the 9th, you can take part in the SARL Wild QSO party to celebrate International Youth Day. You can take part in the SARL Youth Day QSO party on Saturday the 10th of August. International Youth Day is celebrated on the 12th of August each year. Then on Sunday the 11th of August, you can take part in the second of the SARL HF contest, the digital contest. You can get the rules um, in the 2024 contest manual. We then move on to a little bit of uh, club news, although we'll have our specific uh, Stanton club news in a moment. Uh, but uh, yeah, this one is on the 3D printing, which is coming up in three days. You'll be have the exciting opportunity. Now you misunderstand, this is not going to cost you anything, or, nor is it voodoo, although the topic may get close. This coming Wednesday evening, the 31st of July at 1900 Central African time, you have an exciting opportunity to unleash the world of 3D printing with our special guest and genuine 3D printing guru and business entrepreneur, Petra Reese. This must attend Tech Talk 
anyone who has or has ever considered getting involved in 3D printing or has ever needed some special part made, get your pen handy. The Power Tech Talk Zoom meeting ID, um, which is, uh, I'll read it out, 841-9085-5481 with a part code of 250942. But you can visit the events page on the SLR website. The talk is open to everyone, so please, please bring along curiosity or curiosity, spread the word, and join us. The last item is a propagation report. Hannes Kutsia, ZS6BZP, reports that solar activity is expected to be at moderate levels. There's currently 11 sunspot regions with simple to complex magnetic configurations visible. There's a high probability of C-class and a moderate probability of M-class solar flares. If you want to do your own frequency predictions, the expected effect of sunspot number for the week will be around 115. The 10 to 30 meter bands may, especially in the late afternoon and early evening, provide some good DX fun. And for more information, you can obviously um, go onto the website, spaceweather.sansa.org.za. So quickly in closing um, the main SL bulletin, we can go through the diary, diary of upcoming events. Today, the RS uh, IOTA contest. The 31st of July, as we spoke about, um, is the Denton Power Hour Tech Talk and closing date of the Space Symposium paper proposal. 1st of August, the closing date for 40 meter club blocks. 4th of August is that SARL HF phone contest. The 9th of August, Women's Day, the SARL YL QSO party and the closing date for the HF phone log. The 10th of August, is that SARL Youth QSO party, the 11th of August being the SARL Digital Contest, the 12th of August being International Youth Day, and then just on the 15th, the closing date of the youth logs, 16th of August, the closing date of the digital logs and closing date for the YL QSO logs. Then as mentioned earlier, the 17th and 18th of August, the International Lighthouse Weekend, and then the 21st of August, is the SARL 80 meter club contest. This is the main or highlights from the main SARL bulletin. I now want to move on to some club news. I'm not sure who's out there, but uh, I was wondering if Matthew ZS6MDV um, could come in and tell us a little bit more about the uh, Fox Hunt Challenge, or uh, perhaps there's uh, another um, member who was present uh, who can give us a report back. So this is uh, ZS6STN standing by for. Um, members of the club to report back on club specific news. This is ZS6HI. Yeah? 6 hi Yeah, please, ZS6HI. Yeah, please uh, go ahead and, and give us some uh, club, in, club news and information. Uh, good morning, Mike, and to everybody on frequency. I've just joined. I was struggling to join on Echolink, and, but it wasn't quite up to scratch on my phone. So good morning to everybody. East yesterday was the triangulation challenge, and it was quite a lot of fun. We had uh, Richard based at the Berliner. We had Kevin based at um, the intersection, or uh, what's that place called? Intersection of the of Main Road and the M1. And we had Keith and uh, um, oh, sorry, um, uh, 36 GAV based at uh, Four Ways Mall. And we were trying to triangulate the foxes. And we had Matthew 36 MTV and. Uh, Justin ZS6JGP driving around in the vehicle trying to get the foxes going. We did have a few oopsies though. The foxes refused to cooperate. So uh, we heard the foxes for about three seconds and then the foxes decided that was the lot for the day. They were not providing any more outputs. So we had to fall back on an alternative arrangement. Uh, sorry, it was Quinton with myself at uh, Four Ways Mall. And so we had Matthew on 145550 uh, transmitting for a few minutes, and we had to triangulate on his radio signal. We then, uh, at just before three, we ended the, the triangulation challenge after having had six different locations where we had to find the fox. And we all then migrated through to Matthew's house in Paulsorf for uh, the social 40 meter club contest and to make sure that we had done our triangulations correctly. And incidentally enough, 
uh, probably about 50 or maybe 60 percent of our triangulations were on point so not too shabby at least it was in, in the uh, correct direction uh, with a few more uh, uh, people triangulating we probably would have got it uh, pinpoint on some of the, some of them but it did take us a little while to get into it so triangulation challenge number one and number two not so good but from three onwards to six triangulation challenge uh, our triangulation bearings improved dramatically so we did, then enjoyed the dinner at Matthew's house he bribed for us and we had uh, uh, chicken wings and borovos hot dogs and, and stuff and uh, a couple of beers together and it was all a very very nice evening so I'd like to say a very big thank you to Matthew for opening his home for supplying all this the food and uh, beverages and uh, for uh, letting us join in and having a bit of a social at his house last night we also played with the 40 meter club contest and uh, so we'll have to submit our logs but several of us played uh, radio during the, the uh, dinner social and that was also a lot of fun so thank you to all those who participated or made it possible it was a great event uh, I, that was the most recent event there uh, uh, Mike, I hope that's okay for you. Uh, ZD6 SDN, ZD6 HI. Yeah, ZD6 SDN, ZD6 XYZ, taking back the mic of ZD6 SDN. Yeah, key, sorry, not firstly, I didn't say good morning to you. Um, yeah, very good morning. Yeah, thank you. That was, um, I, I just, I knew that uh, event had just taken place and, and wanted a bit of a report back there. Um, I, I've chatted about the, uh, I'm not sure if you, you, were, you were in on the bulletin already by then, but chatted about the, um, uh, the, the 3D printing um, tech hour that's coming up. Uh, just uh, maybe if there's any other um, club specific uh, news or information you want to hand over, otherwise I'll carry on uh, with, with the bulletin. Uh, this is Zeta Successi and standing by. Uh, thanks, Mike. Uh, just to reiterate, you know, the 3D printing. Uh, tech talk on Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock in the evening. That ought to be very good. So just reiterating that. Thank you, uh, Mike, for that. And the RAE is on the go. So uh, a large number of students participating in the RAE. And thank you to once again to all the lecturers and the coordinators for the RAE. Uh, that's it, Mike. I'll leave it at that. ZS6 STN, ZS6 HI. Right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for that, Keith. Um, I'll now move on to the birthday list. Um, the first one out there is um, today, which is Timo van der Merwe, very happy birthday. And then uh, on Wednesday, on the 31st of July, we have uh, Henry Stephen. And then on the 1st of August, we have uh, Kyle Rousseau. So yeah, many, uh, many happy returns for your birthdays on those particular days. Then moving on to <coughs> yeah, some, some radio news or just some general um, interest. And, and this morning's one really comes um, on a bit of a personal note, um, and also just a, a big shout out to um, uh, Kelly and, and all she does at the SARL, and, and um, uh, also Noel and, and what he's done. But my story began um, you know, some years ago, having become very frustrated with Ikata, having paid, I think, a five year license three times, three years in succession, and just kind of writing that off because I never got, got it right. And I think my last uh, piece of paper was, I think, about a 2018 uh, license. So morally, I always felt um, that I was licensed in the sense that I had paid far beyond the years, um, but uh, technically didn't have the piece of paper. And uh, interestingly enough, I couldn't uh, register on Echolink because of that. And um, had some failed attempts uh, at uh, working with Kelly a, a year or so ago. Um, but kind of knew I needed to get onto this because now it's uh, you know, quite a few years and sooner or later the moral side will be that I hadn't paid for a license and I'd better do something about it. Uh, she was most helpful uh, once again sending me um, a detailed uh, description of what to do. I went on and did it and ran into quite a few rejection letters and you know, issues myself just not getting things right and she helped me through those. I then needed my uh, HREC and, and, and HF uh, certificate, uh, sent information through to her and Noel came back with those within yeah, 24 hours, submitted those and within hours uh, had my piece of paper and had my license. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to firstly say it's great um, 
that all of this works and uh, my, my faith is now restored in, in Ikasa and uh, I am now completely legal and and uh, specific yeah I got a certificate to operate my, my my radio so that was just my own personal view that I just thought it would uh, be uh, worth chatting about it and just giving a shout out to all those involved um, because there's so many people involved in the background uh, who do so much uh, great work um, to ensure that we can keep up this hobby so just a great shout out to everyone who did that it brings us to the end of the main part of the Stanton Amateur Radio Club Bulletin so I just want to thank uh, everyone out there for listening uh, please feel free to give uh, any comments uh, through to me on the bulletin Thank you to the stations that help out on a regular basis with our relays, our recordings, our broadcastings, and those who contribute to our content from time to time. You can join us again next Sunday at 0845 Central African Time for the regular bulletin of the Stanton Amateur Radio Club. This is the ZS6FDM, operated by ZS6XYZ, saying 73 and 88 to all our listeners. We now are going to relinquish all frequencies for general use.